is COVID-19 an invented pandemic to cover up the effects of 5G radiation? It's Dr. Monique Brown. Some of you may know me as Dr. Neek. Today, I will be debunking some COVID-19 myths. Let's go. The first one is, can COVID-19 be transmitted through goods produced in other countries where there is an ongoing transmission? Okay, so let's talk about the facts first. COVID-19 can stay on surfaces for Hours. Normally, transportation of goods takes hours, days, sometimes even weeks. So the likelihood of really transmitting COVID-19 on parcels and goods is really, really, really low. Some ways that we can protect ourselves if we think that it's possible that COVID-19 is on the goods that we just purchased, we can simply clean and disinfect the goods. Our second question. Can COVID-19 be transmitted through mosquitoes? <laughs> so, no. COVID-19 is transmitted through coughing, sneezing, and even saliva. I think what we're mixing it up with is really like dengue. What about our clothes? How can we be sure that our, our clothes don't spread the virus? That's, a, that's an awesome question. So when we go out, whether it's to work, the supermarket, so forth, we should really remove that clothing outside, take a shower. I want to say outside, I don't mean outside, like in the road or anything like that, but before entering the bedroom. Can drinking alcohol, and by alcohol I mean rum, beer, wine, or any form of alcoholic beverage, can drinking alcohol help prevent COVID-19? So that's a no. So the consumption of alcohol cannot aid in prevention of COVID-19. Some things that we can do to ensure that we don't get COVID-19 is to wear a mask, wash our hands, maintain the social distance. And also remember, alcohol in moderation would be advised because large consumption of alcohol can cause liver disease, stomach-related issues. All right, so it's a no to the alcohol consumption and COVID-19 protection. Thank you. On to our next question. We're living in Jamaica. Is it true, Doc, that COVID-19 is transmitted in colder climates and not in the hot and humid climate? So, that's definitely a no. We have seen COVID-19 cases pop up in cold climates and in hot climates. Even in Jamaica, we've had quite a number of COVID cases and we're pretty hot, right? Uh, so, no, the heat does not play any factor in the transmission of this virus, okay? Can spraying alcohol or chlorine on our body kill the virus? I believe when we ask if spraying alcohol and chlorine on, on our bodies to kill the virus, we're talking about the virus that we currently have, meaning that we would have contracted COVID-19 and now we're using alcohol and chlorine to disinfect. And if that's the case, no guys, definitely not. And using raw alcohol and chlorine on our bodies, especially in those sensitive areas such as our mouth, face and eyes, can cause burning and serious skin reactions. So that's a no-go. Definitely, if you have COVID-19, you need to, one, stay at home, self-isolate, inform the Ministry of Health and Wellness, and you would get some supportive measures from your family physician. Can UV bulbs used for disinfecting an area be used to kill COVID-19 on our body? Wow we are not going to use the uv bulbs on our skin as harmful 
it can cause serious burning to our skin and our hands it's a no 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 what we're going to do is try to protect ourselves from contracting COVID-19 wear your mask maintain the social distance and please wash your hands thank you what about eating garlic can it prevent COVID-19 really <laughs> it's a no garlic does has a lot of antimicrobial properties yes a lot of health benefits but currently no proof has been brought forward that garlic can help to treat or prevent covid 19. all right so it's a no no guys no to the garlic no to the ginger tea no can rinse in your nose regularly with saline for example prevent covid 19. Okay, so I guess that is stemming from us having flu, different flu viruses and flu-like illnesses and being prescribed the normal saline nose drops to, yes, rinse the nostrils and so forth. So for normal flu or the common cold, I should say, the normal saline nose drops, yes, those are very good. But for COVID-19, there has been no proof or research to say that it can actually prevent you contracting COVID-19. Okay, so on that note, Doc, can the pneumonia vaccine prevent COVID-19? So currently, there's still a lot of research being done. A lot is not known about COVID-19, but there has been no information brought forward to say that receiving vaccines or other flu vaccines actually provide any immunity for COVID-19. Okay, Doc, our next question. Is it true that only the elderly or those with underlying health conditions will get seriously ill and even require hospitalization for COVID-19? Okay, guys, so I do not know what would happen, how my body would respond if I contract COVID-19. You do not know how your body will respond if you contract COVID-19. God forbid my grandma does not know how her body would respond if she contracts COVID-19. It's still very new. Yes, we do know that there are persons in society that are placed at higher risk. The elderly, of course, those with comorbid conditions, those with immunosuppressive conditions, but overall, it's the risk versus the benefits, right? We need to ensure that we limit how many persons do contract the virus. Regardless, even if it's 1% of the population that gets really, really ill and dies, God forbid we would ever have to experience that because that's quite a number of deaths. Thank you, Doc. For those persons who are currently on antibiotics, is it true that them being on antibiotic may help in preventing or even treating COVID-19? So, COVID-19 is a virus. Virus do not respond to antibiotics. Antibiotics are for bacterial infections. So, there might be cases where persons with COVID-19 might be treated with antibiotics because they have a superimposed bacterial infection, maybe a pneumonia, which the doctor or the managing physician thinks it's related to a bacteria. But for the treatment of COVID-19, which is a virus, antibiotics is not indicated and definitely would not offer any type of immunity. Thank you, Doc. If I take my, my vitamin supplements, can those prevent or even treat COVID-19? That's a really good question. So there have been a lot of claims that there are different medications there to treat COVID-19 and certain vitamins, zinc, magnesium, I think vitamin C, that could prevent you from contracting COVID-19. So vitamins and supplements are there to aid in our strengthening our immune system. Yes, we agree. It aids to help us feel stronger, feel better. I agree completely. Unfortunately for the COVID-19 virus, the best immunity would be the antibodies to that antigen. And unfortunately, none of these drugs, medication or supplements offer that. So 
it is a no currently but there's still a lot of research being done and as soon as we get any more information i'll be definitely updating you guys on that okay if i drink lots of water will it flush out covid19 no drinking a lot of water cannot flush out covid19 but i love the initiative drinking a lot of water hydrating your body substituting water for all of our drinks sugary products so forth is a good initiative i applaud you come continue to do so will it flush out covid no it will not the virus typically lasts anywhere from 10 to 14 days so we do expect that within 14 days you should have recovered from the covid 19 disease that we are down to our last myth is covid 19 an invented pandemic to cover up the effects of 5g radiation wow <laughs> i've heard a lot of myths i've heard that the covid 19 vaccine has a chip in it uh, i don't know how a chip would be in implanted in a vaccine but I'm always looking forward to new information and knowledge. Currently, there is no data or research to say that the COVID-19 pandemic is related to 5G network at all, nor are there any symptoms related to COVID-19. COVID-19 pandemic is a very serious thing to take into consideration. We need to ensure that our population is adequately informed and protects themselves and inadvertently protects everyone else. All right, we need to stop the spread of COVID-19. And also, guys, I can't say this enough. Please educate yourself as best as possible. Go out there, look at reputable sources, WHO, CDC. There's a lot of information circulating on the media it's easy to share, like, and make these comments that we're not entirely sure what we're talking about. But we need to stop the spread of misinformation. All right, guys? Again, follow the protocols, wear your mask, maintain the social distance, and please wash your hands. This is Dr. Monique Brown. You know me as Dr. Neek. Do you have a question that you'd like me to answer? Is there anything that I said that you don't agree with? Comment below. Use my hashtag, Ask Dr. Nick. As always, uno, like, subscribe, share. Make a friend them know where I go on in other place. Uno, afi, 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 stay in farm. Oh, big up on yourself.